Welcome to the National Maritime Center's instructional video on completing the U.S. Coast Guard 719 series of applications. Form CG-719K is the application for Merchant Mariner Medical Certificate. The first three pages provide detailed instructions on filling out the form. The table on page 2 provides details of the requirements for a demonstration of physical ability. Each section listed in the instruction corresponds with a specific section of the form. Also throughout the form, there are instructions following each section heading, which indicate whether the applicant or the medical practitioner should complete each section. Please read these instructions carefully prior to filling out the application. In Section 1, please fill in each block with appropriate contact information or write NA if not applicable. For Section 2A, you will need to mark all boxes with the appropriate yes or no response. Both of these sections should be reviewed by your medical practitioner. Also, please remember to fill in the applicant name and date of birth blocks at the bottom of each page of the form. Section 2B should be completed by a medical practitioner. For any conditions marked yes in Section 2A, the practitioner should list the corresponding number of the condition from Section 2A and list the condition and diagnosis, date of onset or date of diagnosis, any treatment required or received, the current status of the condition, and any limitations you may have due to the condition. As applicable, your medical practitioner may attach supporting documentation. Please make sure any additional sheets include your name and date of birth. For Section 3, please list all prescription medications prescribed, filled, refilled, or taken within 30 days prior to the date you sign this form. Also, list any non-prescription over-the-counter medications, including dietary supplements or vitamins, used for a period of 30 or more days within 90 days of the date you sign this form. If you have not taken medications during this time frame, please check the box marked None. This information must be reviewed by your medical practitioner. All medications listed must include dosage as well as the condition for which the medication is taken. You may attach additional sheets if necessary. Please make sure any additional sheets include your name and date of birth. Section 4 is for information on vision and should be completed by the medical practitioner. The practitioner must indicate tests used and results. Use of color sensing lenses is prohibited. Every test and demonstration for the medical examination must be performed, witnessed, or reviewed by a physician, nurse practitioner, or a certified physician assistant. These practitioners must be licensed by a U.S. state possession or territory. The same practitioner who performs the examination must also review sections 2 and 3 of this form. In Section 5, the medical practitioner should indicate whether hearing is normal, abnormal, or if a hearing aid is required. If abnormal hearing is detected, the practitioner should then perform either a functional speech discrimination test or an audiogram. All results of further testing must be recorded on this form. Please note that when a mariner uses hearing aids during the testing, both aided and unaided values should be recorded. In Section 6, Physical Examination, the medical practitioner should fill in all applicable information in the top section. In the bottom section, the practitioner should mark each numbered item in the left column as normal or abnormal. Use the right column for anything marked abnormal. List the number of the system or organ from the left column and provide comments including any additional information. Section 7 and 8 are for demonstration of physical ability and food handler certification. These sections are to be completed by the medical practitioner. All sections must be addressed and filled in completely by your medical practitioner prior to submitting this form to the National Maritime Center. Detailed guidance on the medical and physical evaluation guidelines for Merchant Mariner credentials can be found in NAVIC 0408 located on our website. The final sections of this form are the Summary and Applicant Certification. In the Summary section, 
the medical practitioner will make an overall fitness recommendation by choosing fit for duty, not fit for duty, or needs further review. If necessary, comments can be listed below this section. Also, please be sure to include the medical practitioner's signature, contact information, and license information in the summary. For the applicant certification, please read carefully, sign, and date. The Privacy Act statement mentioned here can be found on the last page of the instructions. There are several ways to contact us if you are having problems with emailing your application. Visit the National Maritime Center website at www.uscg.mil forward slash NMC. Email us at iaskNMC at uscg.mil or call our Customer Service Center and speak with a professional representative at 1-888-IASK-NMC. That's 1-888-427-5662.